subscribe to the Danny Houston podcast, man. It was madness, brother. It was absolute madness. But brothers at that time was strictly about the hustle. Strictly about the hustle. And then shortly after that came the Jack game. Is the, is the slab game and all that? Like in the street? Oh, that's all full fledged. Yeah. But really, the slab game was before the crack game. Yeah, because that's more slab, early 80s, like slab early game, 80s. Slab game for the crack game, absolutely. Elbows and vogues and drill points and vogue tires and Ricky Ricardo seats and T-tops and Hollywoods and cut the back seat out and put your 24, 26, six by, nine, six by so. nine speakers and get you a couple of woofers and all that. Man, yeah, absolutely. But the drug game took that to another level, to a whole another level. But see, here's the flip side of that, though. Here's the flip side of that. The drug game, the drug game created a severe mental health crisis among young black men, mm. big time. Because when the brothers started robbing, Smitty had went to LA and Smitty was hanging out with brothers in LA. Well, in LA, they were kidnapping. They were really kidnapping drug dealers and they was on a whole nother level with the robbery thing. So Smitty come back, and Smitty introduced a whole nother level of hustling to the streets. He really did, man. Everybody looked up to him, and everybody feared him too, because this was a raw gangster. This was a real cat. But here's the mental health part that it did. When you would drive to this day, I do the same thing to this day. If I'm driving, I got one eye on the road, I got another eye on the rearview mirror. Hmm. And I'm riding like this. But I always got my eye on the rearview mirror. Whenever I get to a stoplight, I'd stop and keep a great distance between me and the next car. In case you gotta move around. In case somebody jump out on you. Mm -hmm. And you gotta get out. Mm -hmm. If somebody hits you from behind, before I stop, I'm gonna make sure this is legit that this is not a robbery. Because at that point, cats was hitting the back of your car make you think it was a traffic stop. As soon as you get out, man, hmm. they keep robbing you or killing you right there on the spot. It had gotten so bad to where brothers were afraid to have sleep, sleep at night. Nobody had a sound night's sleep. We had so many of our partners were being killed and murdered to where any little noise, you would jump. If you were asleep, you would sleep so lightly, if a bird crept, you would jump. Well, what we did not know is, subconsciously, we were disrupting our internal psychological nervous system. And we were creating nervous wrecks inside of us with the paranoia that somebody might be trying to get in the house on us. And man, every week, every week somebody was dying. Every week, somebody was being killed. Every week. Are these people in the streets or, or, or any of them like super close to you? Like, man, I was just with this dude. Like, now nah, I'm starting to see all my time. people starting to get killed. It was killed. all the time like that. These were your close partners. Man, this, it's, this is some serious stuff. You know, man, brothers was getting robbed and Jack. You go to make a deal. It ain't no deal. These niggas finna kill They coming to, yeah. Mm -hmm. You. Wait, so Smitty was the one responsible for bringing that game? To no, I'm not saying You're that. You're not saying that, but he But was... I'm saying them cats followed Smitty from L.A. Yeah. So you had a whole bunch of Crips that met Smitty in L.A. and saw how huge he was. And so in their minds was, well, them niggas must be having money in Houston. Mm. So all of a sudden, you had a bunch of cats from L.A. coming into Houston. Mm because they thought we was all huge like him. And everybody wasn't that big like that. But they figured, you know, shit, LA is hot. There's so much drama in LA, let us go to Houston. And man, you had Crips all over Houston. Bloods. This is the first time I've ever all heard this. Houston. I ain't know that. Oh, yeah. You, we, we were similar to nightclubs. Hmm. I'll never forget we was in the what, what clubs? Called, what clubs are you going to? We were in the Midnight Hour one time, a club called the Midnight Hour. And Lil Poochie got in tour with a cat in the club. And so Poochie said, I'm, I'm gonna deal with it when we, 
I'm gonna deal with it when we, when we leave. So as we going out, all them niggas got blue rags and they hanging from their pocket. So they get in the car, Poochie go get his, Poochie go get his stuff, you know. He finna, he finna spray it up. Poochie walk up on the car, put it back behind his back and walk off. I said, what's up, man? He said, man, every one of them niggas in that car got a Uzi on them. Mm. It, had, it had gotten that bad, man. Killing and murders were everywhere. You didn't know who to trust. You had homeboys setting up their own partners, man. You had dudes, man, in the streets who you trusted that you grew up with that were so jealous and envious of your success more than theirs. They were setting up their own partners, man, to be murdered, brother. And these were dudes who had grown, who had grown up together, man. These were cats who hung together in school, partners, tight. There was a good brother, man, who I went to Worthing with named Jimmy T. Good dude. His own partner set him up and killed him. And robbed him in his house, killed him in his house. And these were the cats he grew up with, who he went to school and hung with. That's how bad it had become, man. You didn't know who to trust. You didn't know where you could go. And I'm gonna tell you something else we never did that you see these young brothers do today. You no, know, like, they promote, there's a party here, there's a party in this neighborhood, there's a party on this side of town. Man, we wasn't doing that unless we was going 15, 20 deep. Hmm. If we wasn't going 15 or 20 deep, we wasn't going on that. You know, they had Gucci's on the north side, Club Gucci's. Well, you wasn't going to the north side unless we was deep, because if north side cats catch you over there, you're going to be a problem. Was the north and south side thing? Oh, my God. Back then. It was horrible. Hmm. It was horrible, brother. It was horrible, man. Cats from the north would come over here to do their dirt on the south and go back on the north. Cats from the south would go to the north, do their dirt on the north, and come back to the south. It was horrible, brother. It was, it was, it was, it was a sad state of affairs. But at the root of all of it was the dope game. Hmm. That was at the root of all of it. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.